Hey, what's up guys? Well, welcome to my channel. I finally decided to make one, as you requested, and um, uh, hopefully we'll have a lot of fun uh, uh, watching those videos as well. Um, so yeah, let's get it started. Um, today we're going to be looking into a game that really has the potential of being... Um, pretty interesting. Uh, it kind of caught my eye. Uh, it's Remember Me. And it's an action-adventure video game, which is published by Capcom, who also published Zelda. Which was kind of why I started playing it in the first place. Um, so, the game is a bit older, so it's not like it just got out, but oh well, who cares. Um, it was released... Um, in June this year, and uh, there's also a version for PlayStation and Xbox. Um, so basically, the game's plot focuses on Nilan, a memory hunter working for a mega corporation called Memorize. Good day. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. What is your name? Nilan. So when the game starts, she's uh, stripped off nearly all her memories by her employers and forced to ally with an underground resistance called the Errorists. Right. Um, with the help of a mysterious man named Edge, she goes on a quest to bring down memories and recover her lost memories. Um, yeah, so that was me reading the Wikipedia. Okay, let's um, get into the game. Okay, so let's get this started. This always already looks very interesting, right from the menu. Please follow the orange line to your next assignment. Oh, look at her. It feels like um, she had a bit too much to drink last night. I can't even walk properly. Oh my god. Yeah, Dad, I can't talk right now. I'm I'm in this thing. What what is that? Oh, uh, what the hell? Okay. Whoa. Um, yeah! Run, Ellen! Run! Yeah, that's fine. I totally didn't break her back right now. And another story about a very hot girl saving the world. How about that? Yeah, right, Ellen, sure. Just listen to a strange dude telling you to get in a freaking casket. Okay, yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah, so now you're getting worried about being trapped in it. Mm. I think they really tried hard in this cam view, didn't they? Okay, that's not Nilin. I'm pretty sure that's not Nilin. Oh, Nilin, you got a pretty nice stand in that solarium, didn't you? Sister? Meet. How about friend? There we go, friend zoning immediately. That was an instant friend zone right there. Sorry guys. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Okay guys, this, this is the um, combo panel right here, and uh, it is kind of hard to explain. What I find really cool about this whole game is that Nilin can break into people's brains to loot, alter, and overload. So the whole game set is in the year of uh, 2008. 84 and it's actually placed in the futuristic version of Paris called Neo Paris. Um, basically, um, the Memorize Cor Corporation has invented a new brain implant called the Sensation Engine or the Sensen, which enables roughly 99% of the population to upload and share their memories on the net, as well as removing unhappy or unpleasant memories. This gives memories an immense degree of control over the population and enables them to establish a surveillance state. Um, this, in return, uh, leads to a small group of rebels forming under the name of Eris. Their mission is to bring down Memorize. The invention of Sensen has also resulted in the creation of Leapers, memory-addicted humans who have absorbed so many memories that their Sensen has degraded and they have mutated into a subhuman form, now living in the sewers of Neo-Paris. Neo so, 
The first impression of the game itself is a combination between Tomb Raider and Assassin's Creed, and while I like both of these games, I really do, um, I can't seem to go past the fact that Remember Me is overly focused on the combat. Um, in fact, the fights are so intense and difficult that they actually require proper tactics to perform them, and while the world's graphics as well as the storyline look absolutely amazing, the game itself is very difficult to fully explain in the short time that we have. So in the end, um, what to say about Remember Me, it's a really interesting game, it has a lot of new innovative um, moves in the game, uh, but at the same time it kind of reminds me way too much of um, what I already mentioned and that's um, Assassin's Creed and Tomb Raider. It's like a combination of the two uh, with uh, some new moves. Um, the disappointing part of the game itself is that it is way too focused on the combat. Uh, the combat parts are too long and um, they appear way too often, which is kind of messing up with the storyline itself and it kind of makes no sense. But the whole thing looks really attractive and amazing and I had a lot of fun playing it and I'm Gonna, I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy the game as much as I did uh, before I rage quit it because uh, the fights are way too difficult. Uh, <laughs> that aside, um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to comment and subscribe and follow my videos if you like them um, and leave questions below. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, thanks for watching!